Okay, good morning. She's a cold one this morning. It got down to 15 below last night. Heater shut off pretty early. Ran out of propane in that one tank. Heater's, uh, is kind of a propane guzzler. So, because I have not been keeping it very warm in here at all. I've been keeping it just a little bit below the freezing mark, I think. And, and uh, I've gone through two of the 20 pounders already just in I think four days maybe five days I gotta count what day it is today's Monday so Wednesday so yeah five days through two and not running it during the day but uh I'll show you a little trick right here guys I'm about ready to switch over the the propane for my stove it was running out but if you take it and rotate it and flip it over you'll get another 15 minutes or more out of it depending on how hot you're cooking of course but rather than throwing away or if you refill these uh, not getting them empty the best way to get your money's worth out of these little one pounders is to flip it over then the liquid propane can run down and you'll burn off the rest of it before you you're done with it it actually i'm looking right now it actually brought my coffee to a perk so that's pretty sweet Well, I'm gonna have to change that out pretty soon. You can see the flames getting pretty low underneath there. And it should be on, on a little bit hotter, but it's been going about 10, 10 to 15 minutes, two burners after I flipped that over. So little tip for you there. Uh, it's warming up quite a bit. So I think we're done on this cold snap. <coughs> uh, the coldest I saw at night was 15 below. Uh, one night was nine below, another was six below. So we had quite a few below zero nights, so it was just great. We needed it to build some ice. And I'm leading the crappy division for the second week in a row now on uh, Nicole Stone's fish donkey crappy thing. And that's a lot of the reason why I haven't been filming, because I'm just so focused on this tournament, which, which probably isn't a good thing. But we got a text last night saying that the closest crappy to ten and a half inches wins 500 bucks so that starts today so we're gonna switch gears and maybe not go for the big ones go for the little ones and see if we can get a ten and a half inch or before someone else does first guy to do it or first person to do it wins that 500 dollar crappy that's crazy so stick along maybe we'll do it but gonna drive some breakfast into us first try to warm up a little bit it was pretty pretty cold in here this morning it was probably five below zero in here uh, everything froze. The water that I got last night froze. As soon as that heater went off, things started going the wrong way. So I got some eggs here. I'm guessing they're probably frozen solid too.
here we go, bottom left. Tiny. Perch. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Nice, good one. Perfect. Perfect. Pizza. Yep. Got him. Is this a double? Do I have a double? No, it's a single. <laughs> nice, perfect. That would have been funny to get. Right? They both disappeared for a second. I was like, oh man. He got me. Another one. Double up. He got me. Oh, it's eyes. Nice. Next it. There you go. That looks like a better one. Hit it on the up. Got him. Double. Perfect release. A release to the grease. You got all six hooks on that one. No, you're right over me, see ya? Okay. Coming We're about down. to have a little competition. Ready? Oh, I missed him! <laughs> you get him? Oh, I'm way down there. It's coming for you. This one's coming for me, yeah. I think this is the one I missed. I didn't miss him that time. Did not miss him that time. Better one. Yeah, that's uh, right in that range. Got him on the old V-Rod. Four more coming. Doesn't he? Yeah. This one hit hard like a <laughs> perch. It's fighting like a perch, but he's a crappy. Perfect eater size. Yep. Look at that one coming. 35. Yes! Good one or? That was awesome. Yeah, it feels good. Nice. Decent one. Swam! <laughs> 13, 12 and a half. Yeah. We probably should measure them because we're trying to cull them out, right? Yeah, you've been doing a great job knowing exactly. Make sure you wet your hands. <laughs> that big one did not like you clunking that on his head. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go. Anything over 12 gets the pass? Yeah. One up, one down. Little guy. Those are harder to catch than the 12 inches. Right, this one looks decent. Yeah, you're gonna get him. He's not decent. No. Huh? He looks, he looks it on the Yeah, he was. Yep, yeah, he's pretty decent. 12, 11 and a half. Well, that's why you wear glasses right there. I think he's in the 11 range. Yeah, 11. You can go into the grease. Release to the grease? It's funny watching him go down yeah. right there and then come up and get it. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, he you got one on you just so you know. Yeah. Solid. Eat a.
Oh my god, did he chow that? Oh, no! I couldn't get a hook set because he. Oh no! It. Did he feel it? I might be able to get him. I don't think so. He's aggressive. You don't see crappy do that very often. I've never seen one do that. Got him. Oh! No way. What the heck? I got six treble hooks on this thing. I just want to see what it is. He's right there. Old Iron Joe. He's coming back. Coming back. I think he's feeling there. I don't, that's crazy. I literally got six treble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some bigger fish coming, cruising through. Golly, how do we both miss that? I don't know. Well, I can see how mine. you missed it because he never Make stopped. Like slack. But, I mean, he did the same to me, but I, I did whack him. That hurt my feelings. Too. It might be him coming back out of the bottom. Coming up for you. I'll get this one on the right. You get that one. Same thing? He's hitting it so hard on the up. Can't... No, I whacked. I think the big one's a stop. Is it a bass? He's gonna hit again. There you go. I let him have it for just a little Did you? Yeah. I gotta make sure my line isn't over my hooks or something. Because he just hit again. I want this guy. This is old Iron Jaw. Now I'm sitting hard on him, you know? I want that guy. I want this guy. There he comes. Fish. <laughs> Over seven. Six. Did you take my hooks off? <laughs> I ran a file over them. Where the old iron jaw go? He's oh, here. He is. He's here. Coming back. I think he knocked me silly. Look. Yeah, he knocked me silly. Dang it. One of those, because it could have been I was silly, but. Is that him? No, this is one of the smaller ones that just came in. See if I can get him to turn. He's just sitting out there at five foot, looking big. See if my hook shot enough to get him. It wasn't earlier. I think he's pouting. Yeah. Only because he missed out on a bunch of meals. His jaws are all scraped, scratched. <laughs> He just turned. I think. Still 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, she keeps coming back. Yeah, that's him coming close to you. Yeah. He probably sees that other one coming. There he comes. Yeah, he sees that other one, I think. All right, get him. Got him? Yeah. Nice. Good one? Oh, well, bitch. I want to look at his face. I want to look at his jaw. Any hook marks? I don't see any. Oh yeah, look. It's ripped hard right there. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we've been going hard all week catching giants. Struggle some days. Some days it works out, but there's nothing better than going and just bending the rod and crossing eyeballs. The only better part is when we eat them. Yeah. You know a pretty good cook, don't you? I do. Second catch. <laughs> there we go. Getting that done. It's about either size, isn't it? Yeah. Right in the stitching. What cool. Yeah, that was Sorry. pretty cool, huh? He can go back, right? Yeah. Eat that V-rod. <laughs> it looks bigger on screen. I don't know if he is any bigger. Oh God, where's my lure? He like swallowed that thing. This one might be an eater. <laughs> He's bleeding. Oh, small one. Maybe smashing that thing. Yeah. This might not have been a bad ten and a half inch bond either. Right. Easy enough. Oh, shoot. Should not have run my mouth. The fish gods do not like mouth running. <laughs> the cool thing is, I will get one more chance. Oh, they saw you. Yep. This ain't a big one. Oh, nice yellow. Nice. Decent yellow. Yeah. All right, another reader. That's cool. 
That's why they, they got tougher as they got smaller. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for the fish catching portion of this video. Pretty awesome. Got to try out some new lures from Acme. Got to try out some fish set and hook set and techniques for, for a change. We had a couple rough days there where the bites were few and far between. We were going for, you know, crappy north of 15 inches, and they don't always bite. But I'm here with CJ, as you saw. And this is a pond that he knows really well. We're trying to kind of make this a trophy pond. Nobody else really fishes it. So we're trying to take a handful of these out for eaters and get some bigger ones in here and just, just reduce the population so they don't get overrun and eat everything, you know, eat themselves out of house and home. So we probably caught 150 this afternoon. Um, the golden hour is upon us and we're not even gonna fish it and we're taking 22 of them home uh, nothing over 12 inches we threw everything back that was over 12 inches and then you know this pond in two to three years is going to produce some more 15 plus so here's cj to tell you a little bit about it or to or yeah, we're not always catching release we uh his eater ponds anything anything in a fishery when you fish it and you see the quality of it take some out try to grow some bigger fish keep that different size levels you know small medium large and keep that going and you'll always return to having a good fishery these are perfect size eaters for us yeah it's really all you need for an eater right what what were they measuring like 10 to 11 yeah every a couple small eights some we had to kill because they choked it oh yeah i had i had one or two yeah like that but it's still like that's big enough to eat oh yeah I mean, in some places, that's a trophy. That's a 10 inch. <laughs> 10 inch. It's hard. We laugh at 10 inch because, like, they're dinks to us. But, like, what, I think I kept one that was, like, close. This one's probably close to 12, right? We'll thump him over the head, but. There was one or two, like, close to 12, which is fine. Yeah, he's stretching that. Nine, yeah, so, so for the most part, you know, and we love eating fish. We love doing catch and cooks. Um. So, you know, as conservative as we are, you know, in trying to grow big fish and, and let the big crappy go, anything over 13, 14 inches for sure, and everything over 15 inches, please just let those go if you can, and you're going to grow some 17, 16, 17s, and 18s that way. And there's so many in this 10 to 12 inch range, and you get so much meat off of these, and they're just delicious. So if you're going to try to manage a pond, or if you want a bucket of of crappy to eat be a little selective if if you can you know here i am telling you guys what to do and what to eat but but i'm just offering a little bit of advice if you want to try to catch some trophies too so that's uh that's what we do how many ponds have you and i in the last three years kind of tried to manage quite a few and this year yeah some of those ponds we've seen a pretty big difference oh yeah and it's still full of eaters too yeah but putting those big ones back has shown that you know it just keeps a healthier population. Yeah, putting them back and taking care of them when you catch them, and you know, get a picture and get a measurement if you want, if you need it, and throw it back. But uh, but yeah, awesome guys. If you like this part of it, stick around because I think you'll like the next part better. I don't think we're gonna do the catch and cook tonight, are we? I don't know. You you got something else planned for tonight? I think we do. Oh, little shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Little sheep herder's pie. <laughs> I heard Anna makes one of the best shepherd's pie in the world, which oh my god, look at the screen still lit up. There's a school. But Anna makes the best shepherd's pie, which I can't doubt because I've been eating her cooking for the last couple nights and it's downright amazing. She's such an amazing cook. Um we had something I didn't even put on camera the other day. It was apple pie egg rolls which oh i'd pay a lot of money for those in a restaurant i promise you that book a trip with us and she'll make some for you oh man you guys book a trip with cj and he said he, she might make some for you but if she doesn't make those 
She also makes a venison and uh, cheddar or venison and cheese egg roll. That's the one of the greatest things I've ever eaten in my life. Holy cow. But yeah, um, if you guys like pan fishing, talk, give CJ a call. Burnt Meadow Guide Service. I'll throw the info in the description. But and, and be honest with them up front. Say, hey, I want to go catch a trophy. Or hey, I want some eater fish. Or hey, you know, I want to spend half the day on eaters and half the day trying to get trophies or both. You know what I mean? And he'll put you on them if you want a mess of these to eat. If you want to learn how to use live scope, if you want to learn the latest techniques on catching these things, or if you just want to become a better fisherman breaking down a pond, or if you want a meal, give him a shout because uh, he could put you on some really good eaters, and he or he could put you on, or try to put you on the biggest crap of your life. He could put you on it. I promise you that. I've, he's put me on so many giants that uh, that I, I have faith in him. I'm watching these fish on the screen still. It's really hard to leave in the golden hour when the screen's lit like that. But we've had a we've had a really good week and we're gonna get these home and start cleaning them. All right, all right, back to the shack for the night. Everything looks good in here. Ready for bed. Um, Anna cooked up a shepherd's pie that was absolutely amazing. Didn't even have to be a shepherd to eat it. Full belly, filled the void. Drove it right into me. Now it's time for bed. I'm I'm pretty tired chasing all them crappy today. We caught well over a hundred each today. Uh, a lot of eater size. Nothing big really. I mean 13 might have been the biggest today, but we weren't on those bodies of water that hold the bigger ones. And we knew it, you know, and we were going after that ten and a half incher for the fish donkey Nicole Stone tournament and got it and got it first thing. We don't know who the winner is yet, who got it like first, uh, if the ones from last night count or I don't know how it works, but we got a 10 and a half incher, which, you know, we had to work hard to get it because we're used to catching a lot bigger ones. Uh, it's warmed up. It's in the 20s right now. So I think we're over this major cold snap. So I'm looking forward to the bite turning on and everything not freezing up so quite so bad while you're fishing and hole hopping and jumping around. That's it for tonight, guys. Really appreciate all the support on the channel and thanks for tuning in and, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.